Hi, today we're going to be reading The Baboon Who Went to the Moon. One night when the moon shone full in the sky, Baboon tried to jump there. He jumped so high, but the moon is as high as can be. So Baboon went and found the tallest tree. He climbed and he climbed and he climbed and he climbed till he reached the top only to find that the tallest tree wasn't tall enough. There must be a way, he said in a puff. He bent a strong branch into an arrow and fired himself at the moon like an arrow. High in the sky, the giant bow shot him. Slowly but surely, gravity got him. Slowly but surely, that force turned him around and he hurtled back headlong into the ground. He dug himself out and scratched his head. Methinks I need more speed, he said. He crept up quietly on Elephant sleeping. Pull put his lips to her ear, then began shrieking. Poor Elephant trumpled. Poor Elephant trumpled. Get lost, baboon, and hurled him away. Go live on the moon. Yahoo! yelled Baboon. You've made my day. Moon, here I come. I'm on my way. This time, Baboon soared upwards for longer. An elephant strong, but gravity's stronger. He splashed to earth in a cool, clear fountain. Refreshed, he set off for a high, for a sky-high mountain. Up Baboon scuttled. He reached the peak soon, but still he was far, far, far away from the moon. He made a magnificent supersized kite, com- complete with a port and starboard light. The wind swept him, but Atlas was went to rest. What happened next? I'm sure you'll guess. He decided to fashion a hot air balloon, hoping he float right up to the moon. But the fire he made to lift the crack craft craft up burnt into cinders. What rotten luck! Then he begged two vultures snoring nearby, "Please measure how far the moon on." To the moon on high, baboon, you're crazy! They squawked in dismay. Not even vultures can fly the whole way. So he went to town, played a game of cricket, and booked himself a night flight ticket. He brushed his teeth and combed his hair to look his best on arriving there. As the jet soared up in the dark night sky, the moon looked down like a big yellow eye. He asked the ho- hostess, dressed in maroon, "When do we get to the big yellow moon?" The big yellow moon? Good gracious, baboon! This flight only goes to Potchef Stream. Dejected and sad. And out of pocket, he went back home and built his own rocket, an amazing machine, a massive missile. I'll get there now, he said with a smile. And he did, you know, one star swept night, as the moon shone full and round and bright. He played in the moon dust for all his he was worth. He jumped far higher than he could on earth. He met a whole tribe of green moon baboons, who had seven legs and fingers like spoons. He built himself a little moon shack and made up his mind he'll he'd never come back. Baboon was as happy as can be, till one fine night he happened to see a twinkle of red as. And missed the stars. I wonder," he said, "what's life on Mars?"
that's the end of the story, and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now!